All right, so from uh, going from hip hop into house, and the, this technique works in the opposite direction too. So I got my house uh, fucking track coming in. I'm just gonna make a loop on this hip hop track so it's really easy to transition. I bring another drum loop. And I'm just gonna speed everything up together. Halfway through, I'm gonna bring in the house beat. was a really like rough example because I would never just like fucking do new jobbies into like that fucking song but then boom you can like fucking build that up it's the exact same concept for going back down it's like you just set a loop and then you fucking decrease the speeds it's like you know anything you fucking blend them and then fucking uh, I am not explaining this well at all Cause I'm trying to explain like the fucking thought, my thought process, like, not just like the process, but like you're doing, if you're doing a BPM change, it's a transition, a change in energy, right? If you just abruptly change it, it's gonna sound horrible. So how do you introduce like elements of it, of like the change that's about to happen? So what I would do is like bring in, if I'm trying to go from this song into hip hop, I would go down from, I don't know, start bringing elements of the fucking hip hop track. Let's go dancing. I wanna go dancing with you all night dancing. Let's go dancing, 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 Let's go dancing. I wanna go dancing with you all night dancing. So you can kind of hear juicy in the background, right? There's a natural like little like, build up here. So now I'm gonna start bringing down the BPM together. Right here, the energy would change anyway, so it feels more natural. Switch the bass lines. And I like to I like to keep some elements, like even after transition. Sometimes when it's like really weird like that, I want to keep the dancing in, because otherwise it's just now suddenly it's just this. You know, if you have the let's go dancing, it's like it feels more like it, it feels smoother because it's not like just you're cut to a different song. It's like, oh shit, there's still that similarity, even though we transition completely different. And like that was just like random. Obviously, um, if you have like a house remix of a hip hop song, it'll be much smoother. Uh, so I suggest like when you're doing something like that, try that first. Like I have a, I have Butterfly, the instrumental, and then I have a house version of Butterfly. And that sounds super smooth, obviously, because they're both the same sample. Uh, those were like completely different songs, but you can still make it work. It depends on the song. Sometimes it's not gonna work at all. Sometimes it'll work. Dude, I'm glad that I hope that helped. But yeah, if you ever have like DJ questions, uh, you just want to like fucking 
just message in Discord. I can uh, explain. Especially, you know, it's, it's it's super easy if you have like a video of yourself mixing too. It's like I, I never mind helping people out. Cause like I, I definitely don't think that I'm really good. Uh, like I'm still like I'm still learning how to do shit all the time, and so it's like uh, I understand like the frustrations of, of trying to learn and how long it takes, and uh, you know it's, it's there's literally no point in, like keeping these secrets because like, <laughs> you know, like yeah they're not secret. Like when someone's like, how do you do a BPM transition? I'm like, no, this is my BPM transition. No one else can do it. It's like, that's so stupid. 